what's going on guys I did a video earlier today that I thought a lot of you guys got some good information about and I've decided why not just run with it and talk to you guys about defense um, but before I get into that um, I actually have a question for you you know I was um, I've been playing with this for a while and I have no idea what shaft would look really sweet on this uh, I wanted to, I mean, this is a custom stick, obviously, so it, to me, you know, I wanted something maybe with a little bit of yellow in it. Uh, I don't know, does it look good on this Scandium Air? Uh, you, maybe you can just tell me, or just be honest, I'd really appreciate it. Um, or just the, just the way it is now. I mean, I, I, I like it, but I, I just think that there's a shaft out there. Nice two screw hole. I, I I just think there's another shaft out there that could go on there that I'm just overlooking or I'm not even thinking about. Um, but anyways, let's start with that uh, defensive video. Um, I was talking to a few people today and they asked me some questions about uh, defense and what type of sticks to buy for uh, someone that plays defense or a long stick midfield. Um, and I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, from what I know not being a defenseman, but I string a lot of defensive pockets, and, you know, as far as the quotes that I said on the first video of how every stick should be strung the same, that goes as well for every position. Goalie, all the way down to face-off guy. Um, so, if you're a defenseman, you're going to want the same pocket in every one of your sticks, because the last thing you want is to break a pole or to bend a pole and pick up another one and you know it's strung differently you go to make a clear and you fling it 10 yards over the guy and he doesn't catch it and you cause a turnover you know that's just gonna suck for you um, but yeah anyways um, before I get into that that was kinda cool I picked up these Maverick balls the other day I kinda like them they kinda a tool thing uh, Probably gonna get a big box of these because I end up losing them in my backyard all the time. Uh, the weeds, you know, in the summertime fill in. I found some of this volt tape. That's not showing up really much in the light here, but I'm gonna have to find whoever Compo Stick, Compo Stick is, because this stuff in the sunlight is like volt, uh, and it's funny how it matches too. So I was thinking of taping it up with this, but I was like, eh, I'll keep it white. Uh, so what to look for in a defensive uh, head? Uh, let's talk about that. Um, obviously, if you play close D, uh, zone D, uh, no matter what it is, you're going to be looking for durability in a head, no matter what type of defenseman you are. Um, if you're just out there to stand there, uh, I suggest you just pick up a fiddle stick because it's really not going to matter. But if you're going to be the type of person that's going to be knocking down ground balls, causing transition, clearing the ball down the field you're gonna be looking for something that's gonna be sturdy that can stay you know keep its shape not warp not bend and you know you get the idea so what kind of heads are there available obviously the most popular ones to date right now are obviously the warrior revo 3x uh, the stx hammer um, you know, those are some higher-end defensive heads. If you have the money to purchase them, go out and get them. Um, also, if you're on a budget, you could still use this STX X10, the Proton U, um, even a STX Superpower. It depends on if you're the type of defenseman that you know can throw a long clear. Um, if you like a some some defensemen like I'll even show you some defensemen like playing with this combo right here in the in a long stick, um, which is a stallion side tie, one of the strong the strongest st uh, shaft that STX makes on the CEO. Um, a lot of college guys like to do this, but you guys might not be in college, so why get a narrow head when you're playing defense and you know you need to be able to catch with it so. The way I see it is, you can go over to a Clutch X if you need to, if you if you're on the on a budget. Um, there's a whole bunch of options out there. There's the, you know, the RP3. There's the Brian Blueprint. Um, but you know, my top three defensive heads, if I had to say, 
um, would probably even include the Lakota U um, a cross between the Hammer and the Revo 3 and I'd have to say the X10 I'd have to say I'd have to say the X10 because I do I do like that head. It's a very sturdy defensive head, um, and the brine edge. I haven't mentioned that. It's an it's a very overlooked head. The brine edge can be used for all positions. Kevin Buchanan from the Boston Cannons uses it for attack. Uh, a lot of people use it for attack. Uh, they still do to this day. Uh, that dude from uh, ha uh, Loyola with the long hair, Matt Sawyer, I think that's what his name is. Uh, he was using the edge in, uh, in, in, Lo in college for the longest time. He was playing defensive midfield. So, but yeah, so you guys know the heads. All you need is something sturdy, stiff, and something that won't, won't, won't keep its shape. As far as D heads go, and you're looking for color, I suggest not going for color because if you get a black head in the summertime, like the RP3, as you see here, it's just, it will bend on you and get, and it's going to be hard to pick up ground balls. If you're looking for a good stringing setup for that type of, for a defensive stick, you're going to be wanting to looking for something with, you know, three straights, either up high, I prefer them up higher, or two in a nylon. There's no reason why you need use in your pocket for a defensive head. Uh, you're going to want the head to, you're going to want the pocket to be, uh, somewhat uh, mid-high. I string most of my sticks to mid-low and you can achieve that uh, by not stretching down you know the channel so much. You can sacrifice channel uh, in your defensive sticks by just just going for one or two interlocks and then going for a quick double up single 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 tie off. It's basically just like a big bag. A defensive, a defensive pocket is nothing more than a nice somewhat channeled bag and it's like that so you can pick up a ground ball like a vacuum cleaner and carry it up the field uh, as far as shafts go now that can be a little bit tricky too uh, if you have the money like I said and you want to do it I'm not gonna stop you obviously but uh, the stallion side tie is uh, one of the higher ranking shafts for the price range that's like about 160 bucks for a pull um, you know, if you want to get into something that has scandium in it, uh, you're probably going to be looking at about, uh, I'd say maybe close to 150. Um, you could, uh, but my bet, my best bet on, uh, defensive shafts from what I've heard from people are, uh, the Maverick H2, which is also a great attack shaft. Um, the Crypto Pro Diamond, uh, has a lot of strength. Um, the Nike Vandal, which is very cheap at this time. Um, the other two heads, uh, I mean, excuse me, the other two shafts. Uh, some people were chirping in about the Dragonfly. Uh, I don't think defensemen should be really be playing with uh, flex shafts. Um, you know, you go to make a check and that thing bends and then you have to wait for it to flex back in order to, you know, get around and play. I just think that whole idea is silly. I think it's only for offensemen. Offensive, offense, offensive people only. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, if you're looking for a shaft that's in a decent price, you know, pick up a Nike Vandal. If you don't have that much money, you know, you could always look at getting into something like, uh, you know, Warrior Platinum Alloy, which was going to take up some dents. Cryptolite, you know, anything higher than a Crypto Pro, you know, like a Dolomite. A Dolomite is a dolomite my personal picks are the warrior dolomite um the nike vandal uh the stx stallion side tie the surgeon side tie and um uh the h2 like i said by maverick if you need something stronger than that and you're used to playing with titanium as you know they discontinued titanium with uh, the Warrior and Brine. Uh, they, they no longer make it. So you're not going to find the Titan Classic, the Titan Pro, you know, those types of shafts. They changed it into the King Magnum, like the, uh, like the Pinel shaft I got right there. Um, it's going to look a little bit different. It won't say RP3 on it, but this one feels like smooth, smooth titanium when you feel it, actually. Um, but it's called the King Magnum shaft, and this is the end all shaft to all shafts. I mean, you take this shaft 
it's made it's not made out of titanium it's made out of the highest strength to weight al alloy that warrior has brian and warrior has over right now um i believe it comes in black and silver and a lot of the mll guys are using it and they say that if you're you know an aggressive attackman and someone that really likes to dish it out and doesn't want to worry about anything and you got the money to spend it spend the money on the king magnum because that's the end all shaft that's going to be the most durable for you it's going to be a little bit on the heavy side but like i said when you want more durability sometimes you got to go heavy so like i said um it's kind of hard to see but it says magnum at the bottom and king at the top uh the logoing on the regular king magnum on the silver is different in the middle it actually just says brian king magnum on it so it's a little bit more simpler so like I said, getting back to shooter setups uh, for your defensive heads, I recommend having uh, three straights and maybe a nylon up top. Um, make them kind of loose. I suggest going loose to tight, tightest, so that it just doesn't sail five feet up in the air and come down. Um, you're going to want a little bit of whip with it, you know, so that you can, you know, fling it off that plastic and get it up the field. Um, and obviously the mesh that you choose. Um, I recommend playing defensive pockets. I recommend defensive pockets being strung with 20 mil. Um, I find that it breaks in a lot easier. It's a lot softer. It holds the ball a lot more, and it gives it um, somewhat of a quick release, but more hold. So it gives it, you know, a little bit more of a whippier release. So you get to, you know, make those um, good-looking clears, but you know, also not get the ball dislodged out of your stick when you're trying to take it up the field. So hopefully I gave you a good amount of information on defensive stuff. I'm not a big D guy. I don't have any poles, so it's not like I can just whip them out and show you. But, I mean, if I did, I would. Trust me, I would. Um, so if any of the information I gave you is wrong, feel free to chirp in on the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of this video. And if you guys want to see anything more or anything else about a different position, feel free to chirp in. Um, and just leave something below and let me know what you guys think. Uh, as far as the sh as far as this head goes, if you could leave me any information on this, I would really appreciate it. I was thinking uh, maybe putting it on an uh, A1 shaft, Maverick maybe, uh, but I don't know. I just I, I like it. I really do. It's a sniper, you know. It, the, not not just the way it's pinched, but um, just the way that it looks. You know, I'm just I, I fell in love with it the first time I uh, strung it up actually. So it's uh really cool really cool stuff so yeah um like i said looking for a defensive head you could always go with the lakota u the lakota u the and all those other heads i mentioned so i'll make a list on the on the on the description so um yeah so have a good day enjoy it and uh talk to you guys soon peace